Welcome to Preeminent Test Prep. Today I have an SAT math trick that I want to show you. So this SAT math trick deals with word problems that give you widths and lengths and then ask you things about perimeter and area and things like that with geometry. So let's go ahead and take you through question five and then as I take you through question five I'll kind of illustrate my tip. So my tip deals with writing out your equation as you read through the word problem. So you'll notice as I read through this word problem I'm writing out uh, my equations and the rules that I have to follow to solve it. So I'll go ahead and show you. So I have the width of a rectangular dance floor is W feet. The length of the floor is six feet longer than the width. So I know my length is equal to W plus six. Okay. Now I see which of the following expresses the perimeter in feet of the dance floor in terms of W. I know my perimeter is two times my length plus two times my width. So then I plug in L equals W plus six and I have two times W plus six plus 2w, and I'm going to have 2w plus 12 plus 2w, which will give me 4w plus 12, thus my answer will be b. So one thing I want to point out here is that if you were to not write out your equation as you read through this, then you would read through it, you'd get to the end, you would see which of the following expresses the perimeter in feet of the dance floor in terms of w, and at that point you would have to go back and reread, and then after that you'd read this sentence, the length is 6 feet longer than its width, and you'd have to write that equation then. So basically what this is doing is it's preventing you from having to go back and waste that time rereading the question because you write out the information that you need as you read through. So by doing that, you're saving yourself some time rereading. So that's the SAT math trick and hopefully that is helpful.